In this week's series of Teacher Training Boot Camp, I'm going to show you how to create a quiz in Google Forms for your primary students using images and page breaks. So stay tuned. Today what I want to show you is how to use your Google Drive to work with your students, especially in the primary grades. I had a lot of people on my Facebook ask me how to use Google Drive more effectively with their primary students, and so I thought I would show you a really quick and easy way to use this um, with your kindergarten, first, second grade students. So the first thing that you would want to do is get to your Google Drive. And if you don't know how to do that, you can just, when you get to, to Google, you can just click on your little tic-tac-toe board. And when you do that, your drive is right here. You'll see it, the little icon right there. And it will take you to this page with all of your files, as well as um, where you can create your document. So I'm going to click on create and I'm going to click on form because I'm going to create a quiz for my uh, young students um, and the name of my quiz is going to be numbers to 100 and I'm going to just leave my default setting but you can change it to any of your other options if you feel so feel the desire to do that and I'm gonna press OK and um, because this is for younger students I'm going to make this where each question is on a different page so that would make it easier for them um, so that's maybe something that you have not ever done before if you've made quizzes but you have maybe just made it where it's just a flowing quiz but um, the first question, of course, is going to be their name. And I will make this a required question. And I'm going to change this to text. They'll just type in their name and press Done. Now, because I want this on um, a separate page every time, I will go down here to Add an Item. And I'm going to go into Page Break. And I'm not going to leave, um, there's not going to be a page title for anything, and I'll just press Done. So, you'll notice this is page 1, and then this is page 2. So, I'm going to add images, So because I want my students to count. Um, I want my image to come, uh, I'm going to ask, I'm going to have my image come first, because of the way Google is set up. So I'm going to click on image and then it'll ask me to drag the image or, or upload it here. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how I can easily make my image. Basically I'm going to go into Keynote um, but you could use PowerPoint if you have it. It's uh, something that could easily be layered. If you have fancy, you know, like Photoshop or Illustrator or something like that. You could use that as well. Um, but I'm going to just find, click here on the airplane using Ashley Hughes's compound word clip art. And I'm going to just size this how I want. And I'm just going to click um, copy and paste this. Um, because I want four, I think I, whoops, didn't want to do that. Undo paste. So I want to copy this and then I want to paste it here and bring it down just like so. And then I want three more and I'll copy and paste it like this. 
Um, and then I'm just going to group this. I don't probably want this to be as big as it is. So I can just make it whatever size I want. And um, because in PowerPoint or Keynote, when you go and export it as an image, it's going to save the image in this big, huge way where it's um, the whole screen. I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is create a screenshot. Now, you may have a much easier way to do this, but this is just the easiest way that I think this will work. All right. So now I've created my screenshot. I can just go into my desktop. I could drag it um, or I can just go in here to my screenshot and there it is. Click on it and open it up. So it's going to upload the image and there you have your um, screenshot there. And you click on center it and um, press done. So there's uh, page two, but I'm, I want to add my question, so I'm going to click on add item. And, um, whoops, I want to add a multiple choice question. So my question is, how many airplanes? And then I'm going to have my options as um, 11, 12, 13, whoops, 13 and 15. And of course this needs to be a required question and I'm going to press done. Now, I'm going to go to view my live form so you can see what this will look like when the kids get it. You'll see that the students would need to type in their name, so I'll just type my name in, press continue, and then they'll see this. So how many airplanes, and you've got your choices, and then they would hit submit. And this information, I'm just going to click on something. I'm going to click on Submit, and this information goes into a spreadsheet. So when I go back here, it's I'm accepting responses. If I go and review view my responses, you'll see that here I have my responses, and I can see that for all the questions. So all this will have all the different questions from the quiz with student responses. Before I leave you, though, I want to show you really quickly, once your quiz has been created, I want to show you a really simple and easy way to share this with your students, especially if you don't have students with email accounts. This is how I do it. So basically what you'll want to do is you'll want to go to Send Form. And you'll notice that there is a link to share this form. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to copy it. And then if you go to the Add Collaborators here, it's actually, um, I'll have to change this access. So um, right now it's at private, so I want to change this and make it to anyone with the link and um, they can edit it and press save. Also, if you are on your domain site for your district, um, and I, don't, I won't have it here so that you can see it, but up at the top you'll have form settings and there will be something that will ask you if you want this um, whoever to, to have to log in with their uh, domain name you want to uncheck that, especially if you don't have any, if the students don't have their own email accounts. Okay, so what I like to do is to go to the Google um, URL shortener. Now what I use is a, um, in Chrome, I'm in Chrome browser right now, is there's an extension called the Google URL shortener. 
I'm going to click on that and it's shortening that URL that I just copied. The cool thing about this, the reason why I like to use this rather than Bitly, is I find that for younger students, this is a lot easier for them to type in versus a Bitly. Don't ask me why, but I've tried both. This is easier. So I would put this on the board um, for them to see and they would type it in to their computer. Now, one other great thing to note is if you're on a tablet of some sort, you can actually pull the QR code and the students can scan the QR code and go directly to the quiz. So um, that is just a really easy way for you to share your quizzes with your young students. Hope this helps you and um, remember, don't forget the next um, video that I'm going to do is going to be about how to grade this. See you then. Hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to come back soon because I'll be showing you how to grade this quiz using a script called Flubaroo. Bye!